Hello everyone, bienvenidos to my channel. My name is Alexis. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I thought I would show you guys some things that I have picked up recently from Aritzia and then I also dual dabbled a little in Zara and Ulta as well. So this originally was just going to be an Aritzia haul when they had their winter sale, but I just kept picking up stuff. So here we are. And before I get started, I will preface this video by saying I've not been too sleep since yesterday and it is currently 11:48, so i've been up for over 24 hours um i'm nauseous because the sleep deprivation is real i've also attempted to film this video three times one two three so if i'm giving off a little crackhead vibes that is why i got out of my robe put on makeup did my hair put on this thing i still got sweatpants on the bottom i did this just so i could film this video and i'm tired the first thing that i picked up from aritzia is this top this is the holly top by sunday best i got this in a size extra small in the dry basil green color yes dry basil green and i got a lot of things from sunday best actually so there will be a lot of Sunday best in this video, but I picked up this top. I thought it would be really cute to just have as just an alternative to a plain t-shirt when you want to wear something that's really comfortable, but you want it to have like a little, like you want to look like you tried just a smidge. The buttons going all the way down and they are actually functional buttons. So you can unbutton them as much or as little as you like. I thought it was really cute to wear this top with the top one unbuttoned and then also the bottom one. I thought it looked really cute, but I love the fit of this top. It is a very, very thin. So if you got the white one, I think, I do want to pick up the white one, but I'm assuming the white one would be really see-through. So just keep that in mind. This one, since it is like a more muted color, it's not see-through, at least when I tried it on, I could not tell that it was see-through. But just a heads up that this one may be see-through in the, the lighter fabrics. But it's super flowy, very breathable. This will be so cute for the springtime and summer as well. But I just thought it was so flirty. I'm usually an extra small in most of Aritzia brands, but I find that Sunday Best, or at least in my experience anyway, Sunday Best, their extra small seems to be a little, a little snug. A little snug. The next thing that I picked up is the Half Zip by Sunday Best as well. Again, in the extra small. And I actually ordered this one in the small as well. Like I ordered this top and then I ordered a size small because this one was one of those tops where it's really tight under here, but the arms are what's really tight. And so I was like, well, let me just see how the small looks on me just to see if it kind of gives me the same look with a little bit more comfort. And it was actually pretty large on me. So I decided to keep this because I did want something that was fitted but just the arms on this are very tight. So I love this top because you can wear it, you know, in an outfit, like with some jeans and some cute little jewelry and everything all the way unzipped, or you can zip it all the way up. You can also wear this to work out and as well. I won't be wearing this to work out, but it does give off that like sporty spice look like cute in the gym you know what i'm saying i can't remember what other colors they have in this one but i think they have like a gray and then another color but i definitely definitely want the black one because i just love how this fits it is so cute the next thing that i picked up is the what is this the lynx top by wilfred free extra small again this one is another long sleeve white top this is kind of my uniform when it gets hot like i love white tops with denim when the sun comes out the long sleeve white crop tops come out as well with the denim shorts the denim jeans with the cute sandals that is just my look and this one once again my style is more basic but i like basic things with a little bit of interest so i wanted something that was a white t-shirt pretty much but this one has a little cinching here and you can undo these i'm pretty sure i have not und undone this undo 
have not untied this to see how far the crop goes down but you can undo this and you know adjust the length of the shirt to your liking and it's pretty deep V in the front and this one is very thin as well and very breathable although I did not notice that it was see-through silhouette of this is just so flattering it just looks so good on and I'm just so very excited to bust this one out I did buy a lot of like clothes for spring and summer because I live in the south if you keep if you see me keep looking over the camera I'm sitting in front of a window and my attention span she's checking out and there's cars driving by there's people walking by dogs squirrels so this she's clocking out what was I saying yes so I'm buying a lot of like springtime clothing because I live in the south although it's still very much winter very much January it will not be cold here for very long if I hadn't bought any winter clothing by December they're not getting bought by me next thing that I picked up from Aritzia are these sweatpants and these are the Pisces sweatpant from Wilfred Free yes from Wilfred Free and these are just long flowy sweatpants and even though these are sweatpants these pants fit so nice they're so classy looking on they just drape on your body so nicely and the flow to them they just have so much movement sometimes there's wide leg pants especially sweatpants and the movement is just not there like they're stiff not very flattering they make your butt look Terrible. I will definitely 100% be wearing these out of the house because they're just that cute and I'll also definitely be getting these in another color in multiple colors because they're just so nice they're so soft I'm not one to spend a lot of money on clothes that I'm just gonna lay around in so if I'm gonna spend $68 on some sweatpants. I want them to be very cute, make me feel good when I put them on and not like I'm in a dorm or something as I have on my sweatpants. But these are so, these are so old. I love when they have the pieces that are super duper comfortable, but they just make you still feel like a million bucks when you're laying around the house. They sit up really high and, and then they just flow. So nice. I got these in an extra, extra small because I knew that they were really oversized fitting and I wanted to make sure that the waist fit me really well. I did see a lot of reviews saying that they were way too long on them. For reference, I'm five, six and a half, but I have very long legs. So I knew that they probably would not be as long on me, but I know a lot of people said that they scrubbed the ground and they did not like it because it got the bottom of the pants dirty. On me they do touch the ground but just a hair and they probably wouldn't if I had shoes on so that would not be an issue for me so if you have kind of the same body type as me I wouldn't worry about that if you're shorter than me or have shorter limbs then you might have to worry about them um, scrubbing the ground but I would just kind of pull them up a little bit more you'd be cute girl you'd be good next thing that I got are the biker shorts from TNA this is the seven inch atmosphere short and I got them just in the black color. These are extra small again and I had sworn off biker shorts years ago when they first came back in style because I ordered a pair from Pretty Little Thing. That was my first mistake. That was the first and last time I ever ordered something from Pretty Little Thing but they look terrible on me. I love them on everyone else. I think people who are hourglass shaped or more shapely look chef's kiss and biker shorts. My little bird legs, they just were not the deal for me. I either look good in something that's really, really short or really, really long when it comes to shorts or pants or skirts or anything like that. And everyone loved them. So I was like, well, there'll be something that I lounge around in the house or that I work out in when I'm at home. So I decided to give them a try. And I actually think they were really cute. I don't know, maybe my style just changed. Like I said, it's been years since I've even tried on biker shorts. But the waist of these, um, they fit me really, really well. But I will say the leg hole part is pretty tight, but not in a cutting off my circulation kind of way. I feel like it might relax over time, I'm not sure. 
This is the more uh, cottony type. I know they have, I can't think of what the other name of the other shorts are, but they have another style that's a different material that is more for actually active wear and more high impact, like actually working out. So these are just kind of the lifestyle ones. The last thing I got from Aritzia, I actually wore this one already, so I am sorry because she's dirty. Um, but this is a t-shirt by Sunday Best. I can't remember the exact name of this one because I know they have a ripped one. I got this in a size small because I knew it's Sunday Best, like I was saying earlier. The extra small is really tight under my arms for some reason. So I decided to get this in a small because I just needed a plain white t-shirt for some reason. I did not have just a plain t-shirt. So I wanted something that was really comfortable that I could just throw on. Got a size small and I am very glad that I did. It fits me very well, but it's not too tight. And this is technically cropped, I would think, but it does go past um, high-waisted pants. So you would not see any skin showing with this one at all, but um, it's not like a full length shirt, if that makes any sense. It is extremely thick, very, very soft, very, very comfortable. I saw some reviews because I'm obsessed with reading the reviews where people were saying that this was way too hot for summer and that they were sweating and all of this and all that. This is a very thick t-shirt, but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to wear this when it's hot outside. I mean, it's a t-shirt, but I'm always cold. I can wear a sweatshirt in hundred degree heat. No problems. I'm fine. So, it doesn't bother me, but if you are naturally hot or you don't like being hot, maybe that's something to think about. I don't know. That was everything that I got from Maritzia. Like I said, I didn't pick up too many things, but they were having their sale, so I was like, I mean, I have to. The next store I have is Zara. I only got three things from Zara. First thing that I got, I actually had this in my cart for ever ago, like maybe October, September of last year, I can't remember. And then right when I was about to check out, I was like, no, I can't do it. It triggered me and I just could not go through with it. But then a few days ago, I saw Octavia B. I don't know if y'all follow her on Instagram or YouTube, but I love her. She had this bag and I was like, I need it in my life. I knew I needed it months ago and I tried to lie to myself and tell myself that I didn't need it. And then I saw her with it and I was like, I need it. So I got it. Why was that so aggressive? <laughs> the reason that this triggered me is because like I said earlier, I live in the South. So monogrammed to us Southern girls is, I hate monogram. I just cannot do the monogram. And then look at me, look at me. I got something with my initials on it. Who am I? And when I first saw it, I thought it would just be so cute for travel. I mean, who's traveling? Actually, I know a lot of people traveling, but I'm not traveling right now. And I also thought it would be good for me to take to work, but I don't know what I was thinking because I work in a hospital and this bag is kind of like, not hairy, like styrofoamy. I don't know how to describe it, but it seems very absorbent. So I will not be taking this in the hospital. That is absolutely disgusting. I am very excited to travel with this. I can just see myself going through the airport being like, yes, monogram. I'm from Alabama, can't you tell? <laughs> Crackhead energy. A very nice surprise about this bag actually is that it comes with this pouch. It's a really nice addition because the bag is just a giant tote. So your stuff would kind of just be a free for all. The second thing I got from Zara are these mom shorts. And this is actually my second pair of denim from Zara. And their denim is so good. But these are the mom fit shorts. I got this in a size two. And this will be a cute little addition to my closet because I don't have any roll with him shorts at all. These are 100% cotton and they fit me really, really nicely. They are high-waisted and they're very flattering on as well. And I love that the waist, even though it's high, it doesn't suck you in so tight. 
who have a little bit of space but they don't slide down if that makes any sense and I'm pretty sure that's the way that they're cut because they go in so even though they aren't super duper tight they don't fall off you they just stay in place which I really really appreciate with um, cotton denim because it does stretch over time and I hate when I have to keep pulling up my shorts or my jeans because they're falling off my waist Levi I'm looking at you the last thing I got from Zara is this corduroy over shirt and I know the shacket trend is really popping right now and I actually really like this top because but the buttons actually match the texture of the shirt which I can really appreciate because a lot of times the hardware on things will really throw off the different ways that you can style things and I know the hardware I'm learning to not care about it so much but when you have something with copper buttons on it it just kind of adds another element to the outfit that you probably didn't want to add so I love that the buttons on this actually match the top it'll just be an overshirt and I really like that and I got this in a size small I knew that it would fit oversized anyway so I did not want to go too large the next store I'm going to talk about is Ulta um, the first thing that I got is the face halo this is a makeup removing sponge by Chloe Morello on YouTube and Instagram if you follow her I just started carrying these at Ulta so I definitely wanted to pick one up I am 100% a cleansing oil type of gal I love my cleansing oils to remove my makeup but once again for travel I thought this would be nice for travel because it could just take away another element that you had to pack you know in your skincare bag or your makeup bag you could just throw this in um, with something and it wouldn't take up a lot of space because it's super thin it comes in its own little pouch and I see Chloe uses this as well when she does skincare she'll put on a mask and how sometimes masks will say to remove with a warm cloth she will just take this and remove the mask the next thing that I have is by the ordinary this is the 100% cold organic cold press rose hip seed oil and I have purchased this before already but I literally got to use like three drops out of it because I opened it used it one night put it in my skincare drawer it spilled all over my drawer luckily the ordinary is cheap so I was just like whatever so I decided to pick it up again because I do love rose hip oil so I got another one and this one is not broken because I tested it as soon as I got my order in the mail. I was like, no, no sis. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Not today. The next thing that I picked up is this edge tool from Pattern Beauty. And this is Tracy Ellis Ross brand. Just your regular edge brush nothing crazy there but it does have a comb on one side and then the other side is of course the little um pointy part so you can you know part your hair or do whatever i do like this one because it's not that stiff it also comes with a little travel case too so once again travel i love it oh, it's so satisfying when things have their own cases when you're packing a bag and you can just slip this in there i don't have to try to find like a spot for it or a bag for it or none of that i can just put it in this little bag and we'll be on our way to go the next thing i picked up from ulta is a bronzer this is the sunkissed effect bronzing powder by nabla i think that's how you pronounce it and i got this in the shade profile and it looks pretty to me but I was thinking that it may not be dark enough for me but I think it might I, I did swatch it very very lightly on my face yesterday it just gave a nice like light wash of warmth this probably will not work for me in the summertime which is what we are approaching but for some reason I'm like I'm gonna hang on to you usually when it comes to powders that aren't dark enough for me I have no patience and I'm like you gotta go I'm not wasting my money on you but she's gonna stay the last two things I got from Ulta are two nail polishes and these are both from it's I keep saying Etsy 
These are both from Etsy. And this one is in the color Wild Nude. And this one is in the color Sugar Daddy. This one is like a cool toned sheer pink color. And then the Wild Nude is like a, it's definitely opaque and it's like a milky um, light nude color. And I picked up these because I'm starting to build a little, you know, a little collection of polishes. I'm like, who is she? Because I do not do nails. The last thing that I got, and this is from Glossier, but it's just one thing, so I thought I would just throw it in this haul as well. And I love that they send these little bags. I got the Future Dew, which is an oil serum hybrid. And I picked this up because I have been on the hunt, hunt, Sniper rifle, hunt. Deer season, hunt. I wanted my skin to look dewy, just forever. So I got this and it is exactly what I wanted. I have not had a chance to wear it on my face yet, but just swatching it on my hands. Ooh, that was way too much. Swatching it on my hands, it just gives that super wet, oily, grease slick <laughs> look that I have been searching for and I'm so excited. It is very thick. I'm so excited to use this. Like even when I rub it in completely, it still just makes my hand look wet. I will say I do not like the smell of it. I don't know. I don't know what that smell is. It reminds me of something, but it's some I don't like. So but it's fine. It doesn't smell very strong at all. Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. I will have been trying on all of these things and putting the clips in this video so you can all see how they fit on. If you have any questions about anything, the size, the fit, the fabric, or anything like that, or if you have any ideas of content that you want me to film, just leave a comment down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. Okay, bye.